Hey, what's going on everybody? Boylon here and welcome back to another video on Marvel Strike Force. Now today we're going to be covering the Into the Gwenumverse event, which is going to be the final event in a uh, final final main event in the month long of I want to say January, but we're like, you know, into the almost the second week of February. Anyways, this is the last for the the Forge, you know, month long event, and we're going to be covering what you need to do to get as far as you can in this Gwenum event and get as many shards for her as possible. Keep in mind, it is an arena based event, so you'll want to keep up on that and make sure that you're trying to do as much as possible if you want to. And there's other details in this video. So if you're ready to go, everybody, let's boil this down. Now, we're going to uh, start this video off by doing a final recap of the month long, basically where we're at with the currency. For those of you who are maybe tracking your progress in terms of like, you know, how much uh, points towards the 800k are you going to have? And I want to let people know that this is a lot worse than it was in previous months. The reason for this is because we didn't get any currency for the free claim, free claim Fridays. So I think in previous months we got 8,800 or something like that towards the 800K, which, which amounted to about, what is that? Almost 36K, I guess, you know, that we didn't get this time. And it didn't seem to really compensate for that. So that was a huge thing missing from this month. As far as where we're at, we're actually going to be at a surplus of 21K. And what do I mean by that? I mean that if you've done everything to date, if you've done all the events to the T, you'll have about a bonus of 21,000. Now, Tribunal Tech, which is the Cosmic Crucible Bull event, does have an extra 40,000 in there, but it's going to be very hard for you to achieve. We'll take a look at the tables for that really quickly because I just want to share that with you, and we're going to move to this one so it's a little bit easier for you to look at. So basically, the expectation, you're going to get a limit of Cosmic Crucible for your alliance to 225k, there's going to be some allied supply or fragments of some varying degree, right? Like we never know 100% exactly, you know, how many we're getting. It's usually in the free claim. And so where I would expect us to get probably is like here, milestone 15, at least, right? To get the X batteries. And after that, there's 40,000 X batteries that I think are going to be whale stones. And what that's going to be designed for is going to be for those whale alliances to separate from the leaderboard, from the forge leaderboard so that, you know, they can get a little bit higher. Uh, but that's my expectations there. There is not any super gold, mega gold warp fragments in this. So, yeah, I would just say probably around here is safe. If you get anything more, great. Don't think you're getting down to milestone 18. That's too far down the list, and you're very likely not to get that. So, like I said, going back to this, you're going to be around 820k or so by the time you finish all of the events from this week, which includes the quick rumbles, all the free claims and all of that as well. Unless they give us something special on this coming Friday, which is the last chance, but I, I kind of doubt it. So just wanted to let people know about that. Let's switch back to the other frame. So let's talk about Into the Gwenumverse, because that's what we're here to talk about. And what is this? Well, this is obviously Gwenum's unlock event, right? It's going to be a seven day event. It's going to include arena, war and spending your incursion energy. So what I kind of recommend you can do because I think this is going to be quite helpful. You're going to need to spend some, instead of spending your cores into campaign energy or ISO 8 energy, you're probably, what I would personally do, if you get the chance, now I realize that as I'm recording this, I actually just spent my incursion energy. But what you could do, if you get a chance to watch this video early, is if you're at 120 incursion energy, start doing your 50 refreshes now. That way it can go over the cap so that you're not having to dip into 100 core refreshes because you'll get a little bit extra progress in the web milestone that you wouldn't have otherwise. So if you get a little bit of chance to kind of like sit on a little bit of energy because this does go live at a Monday at 1 p.m., I would do that if you can. Uh, I might be able to get a chance before the reset to be able to save up a little bit of extra, but we'll see. I just I didn't think about I forgot myself as I was doing that and my daily reset happened and uh, I spent it. So unfortunately not for me. Uh, but anyways, into the Gwenaverse has 130,000 points milestone. The event item is at 39, which is pretty early on in the total web milestone. 78,000 of the currency plus the event item. There's a total of 105 Gwenum shards in the event milestone, but I think some of this is whale stones. You're also going to get more shards for her in the orbs, which you're going to get from the arena rank. 
payout. We're going to talk about that in a little bit more. Unfortunately, we don't have the numbers this time around. In previous events, sometimes they gave it to us, so we can only kind of speculate a little bit. But as far as how you're going to get that, it's going to be in the rank awards here. So basically, this is going to get populated with Gwenum uh, orb fragments, and you're going to get that every day at your daily payout. So you'll have you should have about seven days of that. If you're in the top 500, that's usually good enough because uh, from other events that we've had with arena characters, it's not normally huge, significant difference in the fragment payouts between, you know, even but honestly, even between like 250 and 50 top 50, like th these don't have a huge difference. So I wouldn't be super concerned. Like if you're really min maxing the milestone, like, yeah, but you don't really need to. So I wouldn't be that worried about that. And actually, very quickly, we're going to go pivot to this because I do want to show you that as well. So you can see here on the my my head's blocking the way, but there, there's behind this there, there's 10 Gwenum shards now and there's some 20. So where I would personally think that we can get to is actually potentially we don't know. Like I said, we don't 100 percent know what the arena rank payout numbers are going to be. But I actually think that we may, in fact, get all the way to milestone 16 which is the 20 Void Knight Shards, which actually might be really good, especially on the back of his event. But a lot of people, there were some people who who didn't like the event, you know, that the RNG of the orbs were not very good. I think the, the minimum drops were like three shards. And so some people had issues with this one. But I think that we could actually get to Milestone 16. Uh, it's not clear if we get to Milestone 17 or not, but, you know, obviously there's not a whole lot of stuff in there that really makes or breaks it. So how do we get points? It's mainly from earning the ghost orb fragments. It says from arena, but we also get that from the web milestone as well. And then 24,000 points is a limit for war, which is 12 war battles per war. I believe we only get, actually, no, you, you should get three, right? You should get three war battles, three wars, because it's a week long thing. So you should have no problems doing that because that's eight war attacks total over the, over the three wars, which is, is more than viable. And if you can't do that, then, you know, you're not quite keeping up with the game back to this one so what is the web milestone all about you get twenty three thousand total milestone points in the web milestone however this is a mix of orb fragments and milestone points but if we take a look at that and we are going to this is pretty easy you're spending incursion energy that's what i was talking about earlier so you don't get a lot of incursion energy per day if you just if you don't refresh you get 144 per day uh with an extra 240 that you could do with 200 core refreshes or two, 450 core refreshes, right? And so that's about 380 per day. So where I think that you can get to is honestly, I would say milestone eight is reasonable. Uh, milestone nine, 10, nine, you could also probably do if you did what I was saying earlier, which was to, you know, use some of your early refreshes before the event, if you sat on some of that, or if you're willing to go a little bit extra on the 100 core refreshes, but milestone 10 at 4,400, unfortunately, is just, probably not going to happen so what i would say is the reasonable amount of web milestone points that you're going to get for this event is about seventeen thousand. that's going to require 2600 incursion energy over seven days which is about around 200 cores daily or so maybe a little just a little bit more than that uh you get thirteen thousand milestone points and four thousand fragments or two gwenum orbs for that again i mentioned the points here so it's uh there's no limit to the orb fragments and a twenty four thousand on the war battle should be pretty easy to do now, the arena rank payouts, this chart here is based on Lizard's eight day event. So it's likely not going to be this. It's probably going to be a little bit less. Also, I calculated this, what it would be over seven days, and it, it's pretty high. So I think that these numbers are going to be lower. How much lower? I don't know, but I can plug them in and kind of show you kind of like how it would change. That's the great thing about spreadsheets and formulas. So we're going to be using the this sort of top 500, top 250 range to kind of like gauge what we might get as reasonable milestone points. So if you're in the top 500, the reasonable milestone points using this figure over seven days, while granted, this does not include the free claim. So what is included in this would be the fragment payout times seven days would include the 24,000 the 17,000 from the web milestone and whatever would be the future free claim. So when this event goes live, I'll plug that into the free claims posted on my discord, which is normally what I do. And by that point, we'll also know the official 100% or fragment payout as well. So that'll help too. Uh, but based on this information, which again, I, I think is a bit high, would be about 76,000 milestone points at top 500. Now that is going to be around 
just just above and actually it's almost milestone 17. But again, I, I think that's a bit too high. So what we could do is we could scale this back. And I'm pretty sure the number that I use for here is this one here. So let's scale back to 20% because it's going to be one less day, which actually should mean that it's higher, honestly, because eight days means that you'll have more of it. So I don't know. It could be this number, could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more. But just for sake of argument, let's make it 4,000 and see where the milestone points change. That's going to be 69,000. That actually still gets us milestone 16. So with a 20% reduction, which could happen, you know, we're still going to get that milestone 16, which is the 25 Void Knight shard. So I, I think that with the free claim, I think it's very likely that we're probably going to hit milestone 16. I don't think that they're going to lower it much more than that personally, uh, because again, this was an eight day event for Lizard, not seven days. So we should actually get either roughly the same, you know, or technically a little bit more because there's less days. Uh, than lizard was but anyways in terms of the estimated shards now what I did for this one is I assumed that it was going to be an estimated value of five shards per orb and that's because the uh, I believe it was lizard the lizard event had an estimated value of a five five point two or something like that so I just I just kind of rounded down and we're also getting more shards in the milestone so if you can notice that we're not getting as many orb fragments because that's not the main point of this event. It's kind of a mixture. We're getting more shards than normal in the milestone and then a half of it kind of basically from the arena rank payout. So I've actually estimated that with good luck, this is this is average luck. So you're not quite at a four star, although technically this is about 183 shards. If you had the five extra from the free claim, you might be able to get a four star. But we know that there's also going to be some passes that are going to come out afterwards anyways for Gwenham and all the other characters. So even if you don't get the four star here, then, you know, you probably will eventually. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. She's also a two star unlock. So you absolutely are not going to have a problem unlocking her. Uh, I think three star is absolutely within reason as well. I think that we have not had an event that I remember where we had less than a three star by the end of it. I think it's just really unlikely unless you didn't complete the event. Uh, now, if you were in the top 50 with the numbers that we have right now, you know, you very well. It's, it's not a lot. Like I said, actually, the amount of difference, if you notice, is like two orbs, basically like two orbs in the payout using the lizard structure. So you're not really missing much. That's what I mean. Like as long as you're in the top 500 for arena, you should actually do pretty reasonably well in this event. And I actually like the arena rank payout system events. It's not too bad. This one's actually a lot better because I think that we're going to do pretty well when and I'm going to switch this over again. I think we're going to do pretty well in terms of where we're going to get in the milestone rankings. I think that, like I said, I think that this 20 Void Knight uh, milestone 16 is very reasonable. And there's some pretty good stuff in here. You know, there's some gold promos, but there's also a fair chunk of Gwenum uh, shards in here as well. And so as far as actually like getting her unlocked, you're going to need to get to uh, I think it's this one. You, you'll probably need to get to this one here, which is milestone. If my eyes weren't kind of like, 13, I think it is here just after the event item, which is more than reason. You're going to get this. It's not going to be a problem. So this is going to be a pretty easy event. Make sure you do your war vows, though, because this is going to make a huge difference. I know some people really hate Alliance War, so just make sure that you're getting those war tax in at least eight per Alliance War so you can max that out. Or actually, you could just do 12 over two and not do a third one if you really want. That's entirely up to you. So this event's pretty easy, which is great because it's going to be the last one uh, for the month long for uh, Forge. To get those final milestones finished for that so the additional stuff that you're going to get here and like i said the ranking stuff from tribunal tech which we didn't really cover that much but again i think that's just to separate the leaderboard a little bit for whale alliances and things like that to get a little bit further of a push on that but anyways well, i don't know why i said whale alliances because it, it, it's an individual payout but you know what i mean okay that's for the, for the leaderboard for everyone else Anyways, that's the end of the Gwenum event. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on both Gwenum and Arena Structure payouts? I actually don't think it's that bad, uh, but we'll see when it goes live on Monday. And I'll have that for you on my Discord channel in the Boylons Resources channel there. I meant to say my Discord server in the Boylons Resources channel. So if you're not part of that, make sure that you join up and you are. And if you want to share that with your alliance and other people, then feel free to do so when I post it. That's going to be the end of this video, everyone. Have a great rest of your weekend. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I will see you all later. Boylan signing out.